One thing, speaking of uh, low end communications or, or near field communications, near link as opposed to BLE and Wi-Fi. The emerging communications technology Nearlink is positioning itself as an alternative to Wi-Fi uh, and Bluetooth in the Chinese market. So Huawei has said that they've got 300 partners for the use of Nearlink. So if you're not familiar with Nearlink, look for it uh, if it's if it's anybody else other than Huawei I'm not sure who else is going to adopt it they do say they have 300 partners it's 60 percent less power consumption six times higher data transmission speed and 1 30th of the latency of BLE it gives you a 7 dB improvement uh, for anti-interference and a more stable connection with twice the coverage and distance and 10 times more network connections now so I, I fell down the rabbit hole while looking this up uh, cyclic prefix orthogonal frequency division multi Multiplexing. So cyclic prefix OFDM and what that does is that helps with the latency issue. And basically what they do is they take they take your your you know your data packet that, that you're sitting across a little radiogram that's going across and they take the end of it and they take the the last component of it and then they use that as a prefix to the packet that they send over so you get the last part first and then you get the you get the the data and then you get the last part again and they use that 